What's up everybody, welcome back to another one. <clears throat> it is officially the freeze of 2024 here in Texas. And uh, what better way to spend your day than in a deer blind. But deer season is unfortunately over. <clears throat> so I had to come scratch the itch and sit in the stand. We've been seeing quite a few all dad coming in here. Uh, to this particular blind so got the bow tech and uh came and sat gonna sit the evening in in an incredible blind as you can see just <clears throat> beautiful views of the sky as the snow flurries come down but it is a whopping 14 degrees right now so i'm gonna get bundled up more than i am right now and uh just sit and hopefully we see something this evening but cross your fingers and uh, see if I can't pull this bow back in this cold weather
know if I got them or not. footage and as you saw before before I shot I pulled back and my arrow came off the wrist I think when I drawn back like five minutes before that my uh, I forgot to put my drop away rest back up so whenever I locked it back in it stayed locked I don't know what happened but I hit like 10 feet in front of the pig and it bounced up. I can't tell on the video if it hit him or not. I don't think it did. He didn't make any noises or anything. He just stood there and then ran off. So I'm at least going to try to recover my arrow. But man, that's disappointing. It is absolutely freezing. My right hand is numb. I'm going to get out of here while I still have some light and uh, see if I can find that arrow. Make sure there's no blood on it, but I heard it hit trees behind them, so I'm almost positive it didn't even touch them, but that was a pretty uh, drawn up looking pig. I, was, I came for all dad, but as you saw, there was only three. Uh, three immature rams came in, so, and it was almost dark, camera light dark anyway. Definitely gonna have to go home and play with the bow tomorrow though, so y'all stay tuned. It's not over. We might go do some squirrel hunting. It's uh it's too cold to be sitting in a stand. I gotta be moving around or something. So I got Hayden sitting over in a big field. I heard some coyotes out there, so maybe he'll have some luck at some coyotes or something. Well 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 guys, it is the Two days after that pig hunt, I went all day yesterday grinding it out, trying to squirrel hunt. And uh, I didn't see a single squirrel. There goes two ducks. But I'm at the lake now. We're going to try to grind it out all day crappie fishing. It's still 19 degrees here in Texas. The sun is out, though, and it's supposed to get up to 40 degrees today. So we'll see what happens. But we got all my warm stuff. Got to layer up. We're dropping the jet boat in and then we're gonna run up river and see if we can't find some crappie making their way up for the spawn um they usually about this time of year they usually get up in here and uh at least start working their way up the river to where they're gonna spawn so y'all stay tuned got the acc crappie sticks loaded got millennium marine gear on the boat and uh we're ready to rock so let's see if we can catch something for dinner guys haven't been able to find crappie yet but big old white bass take it actually I think that's a <coughs> hybrid he's not quite big enough so I'm gonna let him go but first fish you can see all the ice on the shore behind me crazy thing was so lethargic let's see if we can catch a few more of them well guys three hours later <clears throat> i'm absolutely frozen to the bone but i think i found a few crappie <coughs> but my trolling motor had broke so my arrow that i normally look at to uh, watch my live scope and where to pitch off based off my arrow was broken so I couldn't see where I was pitching and on top of that the wind blows this little John boat around like it's nothing so uh, I ended up going out to the main lake I didn't find anything in the river um, but I found some crappie in the river channel 
caught a couple hybrids didn't hook into any crappie just could not get lined up on them right and it was super frustrating trying to deal with gloves on and all that stuff so um, enough whining about not catching any crappie they will be on fire very soon as soon as this big uh, cold snap leaves I think they're gonna uh, start biting the jig and uh, hopefully we get a few days with no wind where we can get out and get on them but uh, since I did not catch any crappie, I did not kill any squirrels. I'm gonna roll some footage from earlier in this deer season. I was up in East Texas with my brother-in-law, and uh, we went some, <clears throat> we did a little meat hunting with the old Bowtech. So I'll roll that, and then I will see you guys in the kitchen. We'll be cooking up some backstrap for dinner.
Good no dough. Good dough. Sausage Did right I there. Way back. I told you. Way Still back. longer, double longer. All right, we'll There's one right there that'll ruin your butt cuts in a few months. Yep. Good blower. I well, only we got blood on mine now. Oh yeah, she's dead. Should be dead. If you've got blood, if there's gonna be caught. Yeah. Much blood. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh-uh. Sweet. <laughs> She's coming after us. Uh huh. How did I hit her? He smacked her. Called in a pig. That is wild. Can you get that on video? Oh, yeah. Well, guys, we lost the blood in this rain. And then we were just checkerboarding his property and came across those pigs. He stuck that pig. So we're back to looking for the doe. Well, guys, as you can see, it's raining still, and our blood trail completely is gone. But we gridded his whole property, so it definitely made it over to a neighbor neighbor's property but he does have some access so we'll go look later see if we can find anything but got one down i think i might have clipped her heart for sure because there was tons of blood lots of dark red coagulated blood so definitely wasn't just a meat shot in the front shoulder like i thought but i think she kind of ducked into it and clipped the heart so i know she's dead which sucks uh but hopefully we can recover Well, guys, Nathan's doing a fabulous job of cleaning this dough up. Big dough. Nice and cold out today. Going to let her hang. Cook up a tin one for lunch. What do you think? Ryder, cut it. Cut the meat off. This? Yep. Cut the meat off. Good job, Bubba. Today we're doing a very simple yet delicious recipe. Uh, you'll need some critter glitter steak that below mulletman.net. We got some backstrap, just cut it in a thin thin slices. Some of them aren't even, it doesn't have to be exact. And then in this bowl, I got some cream cheese, cilantro, and some sharp cheddar. <clears throat> Normally I like to add a jalapeno, diced jalapeno in there, but <clears throat> we didn't have any. So we're just making little poppers. Our pan is hot with bacon grease. So I'm gonna get some of these seasoned up and get those cooking. I'll finish the rest. You're just going to throw these in the cast iron. And it doesn't take long at all for these because you just want to brown them on both sides. You can also do this on the grill. Super easy. We're going to get these cooked up. And then um, my favorite thing to dip them in is soy sauce. You can use barbecue sauce, ketchup, whatever you like. But they're really, really good dipped in soy sauce. So. You get all these in here, finish wrapping the rest, and then uh, we're gonna do a little taste test. See how they do. Literally take five minutes to prep, five minutes to cook, and uh, then you're done. All right, let's do a little taste test. Still got some back there cooking, but uh, crappie, crappie. We didn't catch any crappie. Uh, deer backstrap popper dipped in soy sauce. Nice and tender. It's a, uh, I never put cilantro in there with them, and that is delicious. Definitely 
do cilantro. Mm. Get a solid like 8-3 for backstrap. That is a great way to um, utilize your backstrap. If you're tired of grilling it or frying it, great party snack and I uh, guarantee you everybody will love this. So, as you saw in this video, we had a tough time doing anything, but uh, the sun is out and it's like 40 something degrees out. So, I'm gonna go try to uh, get on those crappie again, see if we can find them. Um, Y'all leave it in the comments what you guys wanna see. We can do some duck hunting, go down to the coast and do some fishing. I really am itching to get down there and do some fishing. And uh, still got some buddies with some MLD tags for whitetail. So maybe we can go over there and get in one last whitetail hunt. But y'all stay tuned. Y'all hit that subscribe button, hit thumbs up, and remember, eat good.